All right, in the great debate of DirecTV versus Dish, this is our satellite battle. There is something to be said for uh, bringing in an expert, somebody who has been uh, in the field for a long time, in the trenches, studying these companies. However, there's also something to be said for bringing in the new guy. Uh, so we're, we're talking with Kyle. Kyle is a brand new writer on reviews.org and I brought him in partly because uh, you just wrote a piece on the best TV service providers. And, uh, and so we're gonna talk about just the satellite category today, right. uh, but you're coming at it from kind of a, uh, as, as though you were the consumer, cause you're learning about this stuff kind of brand new as 100%. well. 100%. And so we're gonna talk today about satellite TV providers, who's the best in the great battle, direct TV versus dish. Let's take a look. There it is. All right, so first question is about availability. Now, with a lot of TV, uh, a lot of TV providers, the first question somebody's gonna have is, can I get it? Because that, that happens a lot with cable and, yeah. uh, and with some other ways you can get TV. But with satellite, mm -hmm. that's kind of the beauty of satellite, right? Yeah, I mean, you can get it pretty much anywhere. Um, rural, rural, yeah, urban. rural areas. Uh, if you're out in Montana in the middle of nowhere, you can get that. Um, yeah. You know, I when I built my house out in, you know, the middle of nowhere, they didn't have cable available, so satellite was my only option. That's what's awesome. So, yeah. yeah. So, spoiler alert, which one did you go with? Um, Direct TV, actually. All right. Uh, well, we'll get to whether uh, you're... We'll tell, I'll tell you why later. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll get to whether you're excited about that still. Now, uh, the other thing that people will ask once they determine what kind of TV they're able to get is how much is it going to cost? Mm -hmm. So that's the next topic we want to cover is the price. Now, which brand, DirecTV or Dish, is going to be the, the best bargain? Just just talking about price. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it's kind of a toss up. It's really sixes. It really depends on what you mean by bargain or how you actually want to plan your finances. Um, because what, what DirecTV does, which is really cool for the first 12 months, but really kind of not for the last, second 12 months is they, you know, they give you the promotional price. It's super low. It looks like it's half the cost of dish. So you're going to start at $35 or something like that, but that's just for the first 12 months. Cause after that, once you hit that 13 month threshold of a, of a two year, contract, of a two year contract, right? it basically doubles in price um, for the last half of that contract. So budgeting for that is a little bit trickier because you know, one day you wake up, you open your direct TV bill and all of a sudden it's twice as much as you were anticipating. So as long as you're, you know, you know that going forward and you plan for that, it's not as, not as big of a deal, but it is quite a big of a, quite a big shakeup for a lot of people. And then dish, they just give you the, the same price pretty much throughout the whole contract. So it does look like it's a little bit more expensive upfront, um, because you're going to be paying 50, 60, $70 per month versus the 35 of DirecTV, right. but you pay that through the whole 24 month contract. And so you don't have to worry about those price hikes. And over the course of two years, I, and I'm going on memory here, so you might know better than I would, uh, but over the course of two years, the price kind of comes out to be pretty, pretty close. Yeah, pretty either close. Way. I mean, obviously you've got your different package selections and it depends on if you're doing entertainment and all that stuff or premium movie channels. but. Overall, it's pretty much the same. Right, okay. Uh, now let's talk about channel count. Uh, now it's kind of a misleading term, channel count, because yeah. really it all depends on what do you wanna watch. But mm -hmm. does either provider win out just in terms of sheer volume of channels? Um, I believe it's Dish that just has more total channels. Yeah. Um, but the kicker there is that DirecTV has more HD channels. So you're gonna get higher quality or higher video quality for more of your channels if you go from with DirecTV. From DirecTV. If you go to the DirecTV route, yeah. So um, a lot of those channels end up being like music channels and things like that. So <laughs> sure, quality over quantity, um, but yeah, it kind of comes down to what your preference is. And, and I wanna get to channel preference again in just a moment, but let's break from that and talk about the DVR available on each one. Cause this is, this is where a lot of the battle happens with a lot of these TV providers is in their DVR, right? Yeah. And so which one do you prefer and why? And what does the other guy do well also? Yeah, uh, the DVR battle hands down goes to Dish. Um, Dish has the hopper, which gives you, I believe it's 500 hours of recorded HD video. So that's just a ton, a ton of space 
to store all of your shows and movies and games and stuff like that. Um, whereas with, with DirecTV's Genie, I think it's 200 hours. So you have two and a half times more storage mm -hmm. space with the hopper, um, with Dish's hopper, than you do with DirecTV. So that's not even close. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Now, uh, the DVR is also doubling as the uh, the mechanism by which you can uh, project to different TVs, right? Yeah. You, can, you can use multiple TVs. Uh, both of them allow you to do that, uh, but they both charge a cost for it. Yeah, so they both have kind of their version of like the whole home DVR where that's your central recording yeah. station. Then you can have a receiver for additional TVs, but each each company has their different uh, fees for if you want to add two, three, four different receivers, you'll have to pay extra for that on top of whatever your monthly okay. monthly price is. So now we come down to the ultimate question, which is uh, wh which one we recommend. Mm -hmm. uh, and you, because you work for reviews.org now and we stole you from another channel or from another site, your opinion is now my opinion. Yes. And so I get to ask you straight up, what do we recommend on reviews.org? Which of these two? Um, well, that also depends. Dang it's, it. it's, the cha it's the channel preference uh, battle. So I'm a big sports fan. You asked me which one did I go with when I built my house and, and was you know looking at that. So I got DirecTV. Hands down, if you want sports, it's all about DirecTV. You get NFL Sunday ticket. I mean, it's an added cost, but they provide NFL Sunday kit ticket. You can't get that with any other provider. Um, you can have all kinds of additional NBA League Pass, MLB Extra Innings, all of that. And if you upgrade to their entertainment package, then, then you get the, the full ESPN uh, spread. You get TNT, which has you know NBA games and all of that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. So sports, DirecTV, hands down, not even a question. Um, that being said, if you're not into sports and you want, you're really just looking for, you know, movie channels or just shows in general. Um, like I said, that Hopper DVR is a huge incentive to go to Dish because you'll be able to record so many more shows and have so much more on that DVR with Dish. Um, plus, I I was really torn. If I wasn't just a big sports fan, I probably would have gone for Dish just because of the price layout. It's a lot easier for me to budget for. I don't like seeing those surprises um, 13 months in where I have to pay twice as much money. <laughs> Yeah, so, I think we're all pretty familiar with that by now. But it's nice that Dish got rid of it, so yep. cheers to them. Uh, all right, well, any anything else that you wanted to add on either of those companies, or should we cut and run and, and call it good? No, I think that's pretty good. Like I said, I mean, sports, DirecTV, anything else, probably Dish. That's okay. really what it comes down to. Well, there you go. I, I'd like to hear what you guys think, so head to the comments below. Let me know what you think. And if you want to hear more about it, there is a lot more detail. Like I said, Kyle just got done writing a huge piece about this. It's so big that I can't even read the whole thing because uh, I, I can barely read. I, I can barely read. Oh. I'm, I'm working on that. Uh, but anyway, I'll link to that in the comments below. You can go check it out if you want some more detail on that. And we have huge full length reviews of both of these providers at reviews.org. So you can go hit those links as well. Anyway, if you guys have any questions or comments, go to the comments below and uh, be sure you like and subscribe. We greatly appreciate that. And uh, make sure you hit that bell icon when you subscribe. Anyway, we'll see you guys for the next video. Have a good one.